Welcome to another Code Chomper tutorial. This time I'll be going over one of the most iconic 2D game features, the pickup coin. In this lesson I'll cover how to make a cool pixelated rotating coin from the bottom up. We'll start by drawing the sprites and then end with animating them in Unity and even adding a small script to control the rotation. To get started, I'll use Pixel Edit. <coughs> I purchased Pixel Edit for $9. Um, I really think it's the best tool out there for creating 2D pixel art, but you can use any tool you wish or even download the sprites from my website. The link will be in the description below. All right, to get started, I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to set up the document. I want eight tiles wide, one tile high, and each tile will be 16 by 16 pixels. Create that. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I will pick up the drawing tool. The shortcut is D for draw. I'm going to change the shape to a circle, the size to 14. I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to go with a orangish gold color. Uh, center it perfectly. Click and paint. Now I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. I'm going to change the color to a darker tint. Normally the uh, shading options are hidden by default. You can show those by clicking this bar right here. I usually keep them out because they're so handy. I'll go one shade darker. We'll see what that looks like. Um, not very obvious, so let's go even one more shade darker. There we go. Alright. Now I need to turn this image right here into a tile. So I'm going to grab the tile tool here, tile placer tool. I'm going to hover over the image, hold down control and click. And what that does is gives me a tile and the tile set. I'm going to remove this blank one here because we're only concerned with the coin right now. I'm going to click the coin. And what these tiles are, are are like stamps for your main scene up here. Uh, if you stamp out a whole bunch of, of the same tile and you edit that tile, the changes will appear on all the tiles of that type. Um, I'm going to undo that real quick. I'm going to stamp one next to it. I'm going to hold down Control and click. And this gives me a new tile so I can edit this one without affecting this one here. Okay, so I'm going to grab the eraser tool. Shortcut is E. And I'm going to go ahead and erase right here on both sides. I'm going to grab this selection tool, which shortcut is S, you guessed it. Highlight the section I want to move, hold down control, click and drag. Highlight the section I want to move, hold down control, click and drag. I'm going to grab the Tile Placer tool. Actually, I want to grab this tile from the tile set, the one we just made here, and place it right next to it. I'm going to hit Control click to make a new tile, and I'm going to begin erasing. Let's erase here now. Use the selection tool, move those in again. Oops. Grab that tile, place it right next to it, hit control, click to make a new tile. And now we're going to erase right here. Move the sides back in. And for our final tile, we're going to do a profile tile. So I'm going to grab the drawing tool again, change the shape, change the size down to one. Uh, hold down Alt for your color picker. Paint in this middle band. 
Then I'll use the eraser tool to get rid of everything else. This is like the coin on its side when it's rotating. Okay, so now you have the five tiles that will make up your rotation animation. If you want to see the rotation animation inside of uh, Pixel Edit, what you'll do is you'll take the tiles here and put them next to each other in reverse order. Kind of like showing the back half of that animation. You'll create a new animation down here in the animation window. Click this tool here that sets the animation range. And what you do is you click on the starting tile and move it all the way over. Uh, this is one thing I don't like about the tools. All the tiles have to be in frame for you to use the animation range tool. Click and hold and let go. And now you can see the animation down here in the corner it gives you a better idea what it'll look like in the game. <coughs> All right, next we want to um, set up our tile set. And here it's set to eight. Um, we only have five, so let's move that down to five tiles. Click OK. And we're going to export it. So we'll go to Export, Export Tile Set. Now we're going to give these a one pixel padding. Um, I usually do this because whenever you get into uh, repeating patterns it's very important to have a one pixel border around the edges of each sprite. Um, doesn't matter in this case but I just do it as a good habit. We'll keep the pixel scale to 1. We'll change the file format. I like PNGs. Uh, let's find a location for this. And we'll call it coin rotation save and save you see it save there let's take a look at what that looks like um, zoom way in there you go there's your tile set now in unity um, I have a empty 2d game here I'm going to start off by creating some folders to keep things organized. So first, I'll do the sprites folder. Create a new folder. Animation. Prefab. These are kind of the folders you'll use in all Unity uh, projects and we'll create so uh, let's see sprites animation prefab that's good for now oh we'll add scripts because we are going to do a little tiny script all right so to get started go to the sprites folder and right click import new asset find that uh, image that you exported, the coin rotation, and bring it in. Now if we clicked and dragged this over to the game area, what you'd see is all five of the sprites in a line. This is not what we want, so we're actually going to delete this game object, and we're going to edit the sprite itself. It's not a single sprite, it's a multiple sprite. We'll change that. Pixels per unit, I like to match my actual pixels, so I'm going to say 16. Um, we are going to change the filter mode from bilinear to point. And what that does is that gives us a real sharp edge on our pixels and keeps our pixel art looking pixelated. Now I'm going to open the sprite editor to slice those sprites up. And over here in the slicing, we're going to say change it from automatic to grid. We're going to change the width to 16, the height to 16, offset was 1, 1, the padding was 1 and 1. Go ahead and hit slice, and you can see, hopefully you can see on the video, this border around each one of these uh, sprites. What that means is these will be individual sprites with inside Unity. Go ahead and apply up here. 
And now you can see that our coin asset is broken up into multiple sprites. Now to get started with an animation, there's a real easy trick. You can grab all of these and drag them over, or you can grab the main object and drag it over into the scene. It's going to ask you to create a new animation. Let's go ahead and put that in the animation folder. We're going to call this coin rotation. Hit save. What we're about to get is something really close to the final product. So we have our coin here. Let's rename it coin over here. Coin. Let's go ahead and hit play and see what we have. That almost looks like a rotating coin. We're going to we're going to edit the animation a little bit to make it a little bit better though. So with the coin selected, we're going to go to window animation. And this is the animation that makes the coin rotate. This is um, this is this animation here. Okay, so what I want to do is copy this on edge uh, keyframe and paste it. What this does is keeps the coin on edge a little bit longer and kind of keeps the coin from looking like it's flashing. Next, we'll grab this one, move it on the other side. Move it on the other side. Very similar to what we did on pixel edit. And finally, okay, let's close the animation window. Now let's hit play. Look at that. That looks much more like a rotating coin. Okay, now since our coin is rotating, it looks pretty good we're going to make a prefab out of it. To do that, you simply grab the coin and drag it into the prefab folder. What this does is allow you to place multiple coins in a scene without doing all those steps. Go ahead and hit play and you can see they all rotate and you can see all the coin objects over here. Oh, did you notice one thing though? They're all rotating in unison. Next, we're going to do something by adding a script to stop that from happening. Okay, so on the coin prefab, we're going to add a component. We're going to say new script coin controller create and add now since I was in the prefab folder it's going to create it, the script in the prefab folder we're going to change that here in a second um, oh no put it in the assets folder okay well let's, let's go ahead and throw that in the scripts folder Okay, and we're going to edit this. Go ahead and hit open. So bring up mono develop. And what we want to do is set the starting point of the animation to a random keyframe. To do that, we need to get a reference to the coins animator. Uh, let, me, let me talk about the animator real quick. Let's go back to the coin. And you can see on the coin, there's a coin rotation animator. This is a graphical representation of how the animation will play. And in the center here is the animation that will play. So you can see when the um, coin is instantiated, it comes through the entry point and starts playing the coin rotation animation. This is perfect. But what we don't want to happen is for it to start on the first frame. And then w if, if that happens, we're going to get all the coins rotating in unison like this. Okay, so we're adding that script. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to get a reference to the animator by saying animator, we'll call it Annie. And we're going to get the component animator. And then using the Annie animator, we're going to say play the animation we want to play which is contained in the animator, which is coin rotation. Which layer do we want to play? Layer zero, it's the default layer. And where do we want it to start playing from? We're going to say random dot range 0, 0.0 f and 1.0 f. And that's all there is to it. We'll hit save. Come back into Unity. Let the uh, let the script compile. Make sure there's no errors. Go to our scene and hit play. And now you'll see all the coins are rotating um, out of sync. This is kind of more what you would hope for. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, in the next lesson, I'll teach you how to collide with these coins and uh, pick them up, add them to your score, uh, and do some fun stuff there. So please join us for that episode, and I'll see you then.